Wireless mic? No, that's fine. Have you guys checked out the internet? Because it is amazing. I mean, you youngsters don't even. When I was a kid, if I wanted to simply look up a video on YouTube, I had to wait 20 years. I mean, if I wanted to look up a word I didn't know, I had to go buy a dictionary. On my Facebook feed, I keep seeing this word baby bump. So I just Googled it. Turns out a baby bump is the correct dosage of cocaine for a baby. I get all my news online. Saw a couple of weeks ago a white supremacist in Washington State was convicted of murdering three of his friends. And I thought, shouldn't that be ex-friends? Then I was reading about the uh, Port Authority bomber. That guy a couple of weeks ago set off a pipe bomb in the Port Authority subway in New York. He'd been living in Brooklyn for seven years, but originally he was from Bangladesh. You know, there's also uh, <clears throat> pornography on the internet. You know, I want to keep up with the time, so I figured I should check it out. So I asked my barber, if he could recommend a pornography website. He said I should check out Pornhub.com and get a new barber. I laughed and said, that's the same thing my pastor said. And he said, your pastor likes Pornhub? And I said, no, he said I should get a new barber. One thing I would never do online, though, is uh, online dating. I'm just afraid that if I put my personal details into one of those websites, my wife is going to catch me. I mean, she already gives me a hard time. Just the other day, she yelled at me because I peed in the shower. She was like, God damn it, what the hell is wrong with you? I'm trying to take a shower. My wife's a feminist. I mean, that's great. I'm a feminist, too. I mean, actually, I think I'm a much better feminist than she is. I mean, if we both got jobs doing feminism, it would only be fair if I got paid 20% more. <laughs> Groans count just as much as laughs. Uh, we have a son. He's eight years old. On the weekends, I like to take him out and find one of those coffee shops that has that sign that says, unattended children will be given a free puppy and an espresso. So I send him in by himself, and he goes up to the counter and asks for his free puppy. And they always say, oh, sweetie, that sign's just a joke. And then I come in and pretend to be his lawyer. <laughs> and we threaten to sue him for false advertising until they pay us the cash equivalent of a puppy. Other thing I love on the internet is uh, life hacks. These little tips, teach you things. Here's a great one. If you weigh yourself right before you go poop, then weigh yourself again right after. Subtract the second number from the first number, and you won't have to shit on your scale anymore. <laughs> so that's all the jokes I've got for tonight, but before I go, I want to ask you guys a serious question. Have you noticed lately comedians using subliminal Soviet-style mind control techniques on the audience? No. No? Nobody? Good. I'm Abraham Norfleet. Thank you. Good night. <laughs>